Hey, it's Rob, and I'm here with Dylan. Herping with Dylan. All right, so it's Rob. I'm hanging out here in Missouri, and you know, ran into Dylan, herping with Dylan. So instead of herping with Dylan, we're going to have coffee with Dylan. You know, so one of the things your subscribers are going to want to know, and I want to know, is Rebo. What, what's up with the name Rebo? Where'd you get that from? <laughs> the Rebo thing. Yeah, well, you know, I created that name like a long time ago. Like, you know, right when YouTube first showed up, and, uh, you know, Herbie and Dylan wasn't even conceived yet. And uh, the character, that the name Rebo actually comes from Star Wars. I uh, kind of fell in love with the character in Star Wars. He's a character in Return of the Jedi, and he's in a band. It's called the Max Rebo Band, and he's kind of a blue elephant that plays the piano. And I stole the name from there, changed the lettering a little bit, you know, R-E-E-B-B-O, and uh, kind of went from there. I didn't expect it to turn into a Herping with Dylan thing. I mean, if I could change the name, <laughs> honestly, I would. Herping with Dylan, I think, would suit me a little better. So how'd you get into herping? <laughs> well, I've been herping since I was, I mean, I was able to walk. I've been doing it. I mean, one of my first experiences with reptiles and amphibians was before I could, you know, before I could barely walk. I was barely able to talk. I uh, had caught a tadpole when I was a little kid, and I fell in love with him so much that I brought him to sleep with me. I slept with him in my bed. <laughs> Needless to say, he didn't survive that night, but, uh, I mean, you know, my first my first sentence in my life was pick him up, touch him. That's what I've been doing. And, uh, you know, my dad has been doing it for so long. I mean, he's the one who got me into it. And it's really just grown from there. I mean, it's almost spiraled out of control. Now I've got a video series, huh? Yeah, you're going to be famous one day, man. Yeah, that's right. So what's one of your favorite Herping with Dylan episodes? Ooh, my favorite episode. Uh, be completely honest, I mean, I don't mean to push the DVD or anything, but uh, my favorite episode is not online. It's actually on the DVD I made. It's an episode where we went to a river and found a whole bunch of different river turtles. And it was, I mean, I just feel like it had the quality was really good. We did a really good job, and we saw such a cool like variety of animals. It was really a neat, a neat experience. So for 2008, uh, any new episodes coming up that are going to be exciting? Any travel plans? What do you, what do you got cooking, man? Actually, we, we have a lot of plans for upcoming stuff. I mean, we just literally, like two days ago, bought tickets to Arizona. So hopefully within the next month or two, we're going May 1st through 4th. So there should be some videos from Arizona, supposing I see some stuff. And uh, I mean, there's a lot of species around here. I want to take a trip up to the sand prairies in northern Illinois. And, you know, I've barely touched on Missouri. I know there's a lot of good area in Missouri. So, I mean, there's, there's a lot to expect. I think this year's going to be a good year. All right, sounds good. So with all these episodes that you're doing and the videos with herping, do you see this as a career down the road? Are you doing anything in that realm? Is that you kind of want to be a herpetologist when you grow up? Or? Uh, I would like to. I mean, I'm currently pursuing a degree in zoology with a minor in herpetology. So, you know, whatever happens there, I would like to eventually teach maybe because, you know, I feel better teaching people about the stuff. Field work would be pretty fun too. Uh, as far as the videos go, I mean, I'm not, you know, pushing to get famous or anything. It's, it's a fun thing on the side, but, you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. So, talking about your videos, you, you don't really want to be famous on those, but what's the message behind your videos? What do you? What was the driving force, or why do you do your videos, you know? Is there, is there some sort of message you want to get out there? Well, I think above everything else, it's conservation, conservation. You know, I want, there's so much misunderstood stuff about reptiles and amphibians, reptiles specifically, and snakes more than any of them. There's a lot of prejudice and indiscriminate killing, and, you know, if I could change one person's mind about hating snakes, then all the videos I made are worth it. Uh, you know, the videos are more for a general audience. I'm not making them for, you know, herpetology majors, because, you know, they, they see this stuff every day. They don't need me to tell them what it is, you know? So uh, it's, it's more for people who don't know anything about the reptiles and amphibians. And, you know, it's nice to bring these. Because, you know, here in Illinois, we don't have, you know, people don't think we have this wide variety of snakes and amphibians. And we actually have a really good biodiversity here of that kind of stuff. And it's surprising, actually, what most people could find in their own backyard. I mean, if you watch the Discovery Channel, you see lions and tigers. But nobody ever does. What's in southern Illinois? And some stuff is really interesting here. It's pretty surprising. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty obvious you're into herping, but you've got to do other stuff besides herping. So what do you do when you're not herping? Well, when I'm not herping, I mean, video games pretty much take up a pretty large portion of my time. And currently it's Rock Band and Guitar Hero. I kind of fell into that. I thought it was stupid. And you know, everybody looks stupid playing it, but as soon as I picked it up, I can't, I can't put it down now, man. It's, every night I'm on that game. So, uh, yeah, besides herping, it's, it's, it's 
play rock band. So what are a couple of things your subscribers probably don't know about you? You know, nothing too private, but just something that they don't know about you. Well, first off, I guess uh, people don't know I have a tattoo. Where, where, where is it? Yeah, it's nowhere visible. It's right there. Oh, right there, girl. Yeah. Did that hurt? No, not really. I mean, it was, you know, tattoo's a tattoo. You stab with a needle, but it wasn't as bad as I thought. I was terrified getting it, man. Wow. It was horrifying. Yeah. I guess another thing is, uh, you know, I'm completely straight. That's actually what the tattoo means in three X's. I don't, I don't drink any alcohol. I don't smoke anything. No tobacco. No drugs. Nothing. You know, I'm completely clean. I'm poison free, I guess. Hmm. Very cool, man. Very cool. So in one of your episodes, I noticed that you had kind of some sort of incident or a citation that happened here in Illinois. Do you, do you mind touching on that a little bit more? Yeah, yeah there's no problem. Uh, I mean, what happened was, is, you know, kind of freaked me out. This, a guy, literally, a conservation police officer came to my house. They, you know, from watching my videos, they tracked me down and came to my house and knocked on my door. You know, I opened the door and, geez, you know, <laughs> what the heck? And. Uh, you know, so I, I went out and talked to this guy for a long time. Uh, you know, he explained to me what was wrong. And I mean, honestly, it really was a case that I just didn't know why. I never intended to break laws. I didn't, you know, I wasn't trying to be sneaky about it. I mean, obviously, I made a video of it. So, you know, I didn't think I was breaking any laws. And uh, I mean, everything got cleared up. It's you know, water under the bridge now. But uh, yeah, I, you know, I never saw that one coming, I guess. How's this going to change the way you do your videos in the future? Well, I mean, obviously there will be changes. Uh, you know, I kind of adopted a new policy, I guess, here in Illinois is hands off hots. You know, just don't, don't touch the poisonous stuff, which is probably for the better anyway. I mean, you know, handling a venomous snake, no matter how much experience you have, it's still like playing with a loaded gun. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, when you cut it down, you don't know what that snake's going to do. You may have control of the situation at one minute, and then, bang, you know, you're tagged. So, you know, just back off. It doesn't mean I'm not going to do videos on venomous snakes. I just won't be picking them up, I guess. So there's this mysterious girl named Amanda that I think she does all your filming. Um, I'm just curious, how did you get her into this thing? Well, Amanda, you know, I met Amanda probably five or six years ago and drug her in the woods with me and it kind of just turned... Why don't you come over here and talk about this? Why am I talking about you? Oh, look everybody, it is Amanda from Herpin' with Dylan. Hey Amanda, how you doing? I'm good. Um, so you don't mind um, like doing this video stuff out there in the swamps? and? No, I don't mind. Actually, I like it. Um, Basically, Dylan just got me into it, and just going along with him, we just decided to film one day, and so, yeah, that's what we did. Right on. So, if he becomes famous, then you're going to be the, the person behind that camera. You'll be famous, too? Yeah, I guess. Right on. Right on. Very cool.